Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the magnetostatics in that the fourth part that is nothing but the magnetization in materials. Hi, I am Nageshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. Now, in this video, I am going to cover the following topics. First, introduction part. In introduction part, I am going to discuss about what is magnetization and as well as the uh, what is magnetic dipole and dipole moment, etc. And then, finally, I am going to discuss about the magnetic susceptibility. How the magnetic susceptibility relationship comes from the magnetization. So, everything I am going to discuss in this video. Let me check with the video. Now, so let you see the diagrams. Let you observe the diagrams first. Okay. So, actually what is magnetization? So, the magnetization in materials is equivalent to the polarization of materials in a electric field. So, now we will assume that our atomic models. So, now we will assume that our atomic models is that of an electron orbiting about a positive nucleus. Okay. So, assume that our atomic model is that of an electron orbiting about a positive nucleus. So, we know that. A given material is composed of atoms. So, each atom may be regarded as consisting of the electrons orbiting about a central positive nucleus. The electrons also rotate, rotate or spin about their own axis. Thus, an internal magnetic field is produced by electrons orbiting around the nucleus is shown in the figure. So, this is nothing. This figure shows the electron orbiting around nucleus. Now, so next one is the next figure. Yes. So, this figure shows the electron spinning around the nucleus. Okay. So, both these electronic motions produce internal magnetic field. So, that are similar to the magnetic field produced by a water current loop. Okay. So, these magnetic fields, okay. So, in and around the orbitary, so produces a magnetic field. So, that is the um, an important concept in the dipole. So, that this is similar to the magnetic field produced by a current loop. So, that is shown in this diagram. So, this diagram is nothing but the electromagnetism diagram. And if you see this one, the fourth one. So, this is nothing but the circular current loop. Circular current loop equivalent to the equivalent to the electronic motion okay so circular current loop equivalent to the electronic motion so the fourth diagram is nothing but the equivalent current loop has a magnetic moment okay so this has a, a magnetic moment of the current into area Okay, so this is nothing but the magnetic field and the loop is nothing but the circular current loop and it, it has some an area, it is nothing but a, a. Consider the area of a loop is A. So, therefore, this produces a, a magnetic momentum or we can say, we can call upon it is a dipole. So, what is dipole? So, from this uh, a concept only, the dipole concept is coming. So, now what is dipole? So, the magnetic dipole is nothing but uh, the product of the current into the area of the loop. Okay. So, now, 
So this current is the bounded current. That means bounded the atom. Bound to the atom. This current, this this area or the current is nothing but the bound current. And this bound current is nothing but the bound to the atom. Okay, so without an external B field applied to the material, the sum of Ms, that is the sum of uh, moments is obviously zero. Okay, so due to random orientation, okay, so due to random orientation as shown in this figure. Okay, so in this figure represents the without an external field. Okay, so without an external B field applied to the material, so the sum of Ms, Ms is nothing but moments, magnetic moments. Okay, the sum of magnetic moments is zero. Okay, so due to the random orientation. Okay, so that shows this representation of the diagram. Okay, now when external B field is applied. Okay, if suppose, if suppose, so now we have seen without the B field, if external B field is applied, now what will happen? Okay, what will happen is the electrons more or less align themselves with B so that the net magnetic moment is not zero like this. Okay, so the last diagram. So the last diagram shows that uh, when an magnetic material is present. Okay, if the magnetic material is present, uh, then what will happen is the net moment. Okay, is is present and it align themselves. Okay, so that is the what uh, magnetic dipole moment uh, after B is applied. So this is the origin of the magnetic dipole moment origin or we can say this is the step by step uh, uh, explanation of magnetic dipole moment. Now we will see what is the magnetic dipole moment uh, 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 like a definition. Okay, so now look at the another picture. Okay, this picture shows the similar to the previous pictures only. Okay, now if you see, so this is the B field. Okay, this is the uh, B field. Okay, and uh, this loops is nothing but the circular current loop. And who's having the area of, uh, we can say A is the area. Okay, and it produces the A moment, magnetic dipole moment. Okay, so now this is also another representation of the dipole. Dipole. Now, actually, what is magnetic moment? So, a magnetic moment is a quantity that represents the magnetic strength and orientation of the magnet or any other object that produces a magnetic field. Okay. Now, what is magnetic dipole moment? So, the magnetic dipole moment can be defined as the quantity which determines the torque. Okay, it determines the torque. It will experience as a external magnetic field. I I have uh, explained you in previous lecture in sorry in previous slide. Uh, so I told you if, if there is no B field, uh, then there is no dipole moment. Uh, uh, and it is also randomly oriented one. Okay, now if you apply the B field only, so it aligned properly and such that the dipole moment is nothing but the net net uh, of that uh, all the dipole all the moments okay so therefore uh, in the existing of the external magnetic field only the dipole moment is present okay so mathematically what is dipole so mathematically the magnetic dipole is defined as the product of the current and the area of the loop product of the current and the area of the loop okay so therefore m is equal to I into A. That's nothing but product of the current into area of the loop. So, what is the unit for this uh, magnetic dipole? Can you guess? It's nothing but the current uh, amperes and area meter square. So, ampere meter square. So, the unit for uh, magnetic dipole moment is given by M is equal to ampere meter square. Okay. Now, next one, we are going to see the magnetization. Okay. So, the magnetization is nothing but uh, the amp that is uh, magnetic dipole moment per unit volume. Okay. So, the magnetization is nothing but. Uh, so, Magnetic magnetization is nothing but so the magnetic dipole moment per unit volume is called as the magnetic dipole moment. Okay, so mathematically we can define as like this that is m is equal to limits del v 
summation of k is equal to 1 to n m k by del v that is nothing but uh, so magnetization is nothing but the ratio of magnetic dipole moment uh, per unit volume okay so now what is this so this vector m is analogous to the polarization so we can we can uh, uh, correlate okay we can correlate with the uh, dielectric medium okay uh, electric uh, we can say okay so polarization p in dielectrics and is sometimes called the magnetic polarization density of the medium okay so therefore let us consider the alignment of a magnetic dipole along a closed path. So, therefore, so we can we can derive the magnetization from the magnetization. So, we can derive a beautiful uh, a concept called as the susceptibility and now that only we are going to see. So, how we can derive? Okay, so same the according to your Ampere's uh, uh, rule only. From that only we are going to derive all this. Okay, so you know very well like, uh, what is Ampere's law? It's nothing but the closed line integral of h dot dl is equal to current enclosed by the path. Okay, so according to that, so I can say I is equal to integration of h is nothing but what b by mu naught minus m is nothing but the minus that magnetization. Okay, so now compare this equation with the ampere circuit law okay so the previous expression right okay so this is nothing but the uh, 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 combined of magnetization okay combined of magnetization what is the current i represented here now you, you need to compare that with the ampere circuit law you know what is ampere circuit law yes the i is equal to closed integral of h dot dl now if you compare these two okay so if you compare the previous equation and this equation now what is the difference yes the h is the difference okay now what is the h here h is equal to b by mu naught minus m here okay so now you just uh, uh, simplify this uh. so how we can simplify yes so b is equal to you, you just uh, take this mu naught as that side and you see m as that side so therefore b is equal to what uh, mu naught into h plus m mu naught into h plus m okay so therefore so in this relation uh, the above equation is true for all the materials irrespective of the nature of material whether it is linear or non-linear so the this equation is uh, a true for all the type of material okay so now for linear for isotropic magnetic materials okay so we can say m is equal to psi m into h okay now here i am introducing one uh, concept called as psi m here so now what is this psi m this psi m is called as the magnetic susceptibility okay now what is psi m the psi m is nothing but the the pro, the ratio between the magnetization to that of the magnetic field intensity now from these two equations only we are going to find out what is psi m and what is a uh, permeability etc etc so many equations we are going to find out by using these expressions this from these simple expressions only we are going to discuss so many things in the next slide okay now if you see okay the quantity is i m so previously we have we have uh, uh, i have shown one equation right psi m is equal to m by h okay so that psi m is nothing but the magnetic susceptibility of the medium now the magnetic susceptibility measures how susceptible okay how susceptible the material is to a magnetic field okay so that is called as the susceptibility okay now what you need to do is substitute the value of m in b okay so you know what is b so b is equal to mu naught into h plus m only no okay so instead of m you substitute psi m into h okay after substituting what you need to do you need to take h as common because if both in both you have h as a common term okay take h as um, outside now what what is the inside what 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 left out inside the bracket is nothing but 1 plus psi m okay 1 plus psi m now from this i am going to tell i am going to um, analyze another important co uh, concept uh, okay i am um, that is so but for any magnetic material we can write uh, we know very well so b is equal to mu into h okay b is equal to mu into h now you know what is mu mu is equal to mu naught into mu r okay now you see 
this equation and this equation there is second box and third box if you compare these two box then you can get a beautiful expression what is that so if you compare these two so left hand side b b equal okay and right hand side mu not mu not equal okay h h equal okay now what is that so if you compare these two expression you can find out another important beautiful expression that is nothing but mu r is equal to 1 plus psi m yes exactly okay so what i am trying to say is so we are um, um, uh, we are uh, uh, finding out an another important expression called as the another important relationship called as the relationship between the mu r and psi m okay so what is mu r relative permeability what is psi m matrix susceptibility so there is a relationship between the mu r and psi m and all these relationships is coming from the origin what magnetization of course yes okay so on comparing these two expressions now what you got actually so mu r is equal to 1 plus psi m obviously mu r is equal to 1 plus psi m or we can say mu r is equal to mu by mu not that that you know already okay so therefore so in general mu is equal to mu not into mu r is called as the permeability of the material okay so in this slide in this particular slide so we have discussed so many things okay i i will i i will repeat uh, once again okay the first concept we have discussed about the susceptibility okay what is susceptibility uh, susceptibility is nothing but it is a ratio of the magnetization to that of the magnetic field intensity Up a psi m then psi m is equal to m by h okay and uh, uh, um, again we have come across uh, uh, by using the relationship uh, b is equal to mu naught into uh, 1 plus i m into h uh, and uh, b is equal to mu naught mu r into h uh, so we, uh, if you compare these two uh, expressions uh, again we got another important uh, expression is nothing but the it's not expression is we can say relationship uh, another important relationship we have got that relationship is nothing but the there is a relationship between a relative permeability and as well as the magnetic susceptibility so therefore so you should uh, remember always there is a relationship between the relative permeability and the susceptibility and that relationship is given by mu r is equal to 1 plus psi m okay it is a very 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 important relationship and everyone must remember this relationship by using this sometimes they may ask problems or sometimes they may ask this is an important two mark also okay so it is a very important concept also okay susceptibility matter susceptibility or relationship between mu r and psi m is an important uh, um, um, uh, important uh, topic and important uh, uh, two mark sometimes they may ask in uh, uh, some other competitive exams also they may ask by using this they may ask some problems also so it is a very 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 important concept okay now finally so what is the uh, um, you know what is the uh, unit for permeability that is entry per meter okay so but the, the relative permeability is a dimensionless quantity similar to matrix susceptibility also so matrix susceptibility also magnetic susceptibility is also a, a dimensionless quantity like your relative permeability okay now finally i am going to de define def the uh, de relative permeability and as well as the uh, susceptibility. Now, what is relative permeability? Relative permeability is the ratio of the permeability of the given material to that of the free space. Okay. So, this is the exact definition. So, definition wise, if you want me, so this is the exact definition. That is relative permeability is the ratio of the permeability of a given material to that of the uh, uh, free space and is known as the relative permeability of the material so mu r is equal to mu by mu naught okay now what is definition of the magnetic susceptibility okay now in terms of definition so we can define as so magnetic susceptibility is nothing but it is a ratio of the magnetization to that of the magnetic field intensity okay so this is the uh, definition of a magnetic susceptibility okay so now 
in this uh, uh, video so what we discussed is we discussed the origin of a magnetization okay then we discussed about uh, not magnetization actually origin of the dipole okay magnetic dipole we discussed uh, uh, then we discussed about the magnetization okay from the magnetization so we have come across so many things that is a uh, relative permeability and relationship between relative permeability and magnetic susceptibility so all these relations we have gone through in this video okay so thank you all thank you for watching this video